everyone, I'm Pocketful of Posies, and welcome back to my channel. A while back, I happened to find this Honey Lemon doll on eBay. She's not complete, but this was much more affordable compared to how expensive rare dolls like these can get. So I had the idea to make this doll a custom of Honey civilian form instead. So let's get started. First thing I do is cut off her hair. Her default hair looks fine enough, but I wanted to find something a bit more movie accurate than this random top streak thing. Anyway, I remove the head and clean out the glue and plugs from inside. After that's done, I put the head in some more hot water to shrink these factory-made holes a bit. This is a trick I learned from Doll Junk on Instagram. I use pure acetone to remove the face. Heavy eye sculpting like on this mold can make it difficult to remove paint from those little corners and hard to reach places, so you really need to get in there. For the reroute, I decided on this copper penny saran hair from dollyhair.com. I split the hair into small strands and use my reroute tool to stick it in all the holes. This is a very time consuming process, so I'd recommend doing this to your favorite movie, show, podcast, or whatever you like. When I'm finished, I put some glue in the head to seal the hair in. Also, don't forget to set the hair with hot water. For the face up, this was my first time using this Mr. Hobby Premium Top Coat in flat. It's such a small can, but it turned out to be a really nice sealant, and to this day I try to buy a can or two when I can. So, funny thing about this custom, I started this around March or April, I believe, and I only finished this recently. This was one of those projects I ended up doing in between my other planned stuff, so this one ended up getting pushed back several times. Heck, I only finished this one now because I was having some troubles with one of the customs I was working on this summer. It was one of those customs where I've been struggling with some aspects of the outfit, and I felt that it was best that I put it aside for the time being. That was when I remembered poor Honey Lemon just sitting there not fully done. have a lot of issues with Disney as a movie studio and corporation nowadays, but sometimes I come across some of the secondhand dolls for the good stuff they made. And it was this doll that made me want to do at least a few Disney-related customs. Heck, the only thing Disney did that I've genuinely been excited for lately was releasing dolls for some non-princess characters, something I wish they would do a bit more often. I found another vintage Disney doll at my local thrift store that I want to customize, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get around to that in the near future. I do have this problem where I have too many ideas and not enough time to do them all. Off-screen, I drafted some clothes patterns, and I started with her dress. The next thing I made is her cardigan. Normally, I like to use my sewing machine for doll clothes since it makes it go faster, 
but with knit fabrics like these, I prefer to hand stitch it since pieces of fabric this small can be really difficult with this type. For the heart buttons, I use craft foam and this hole puncher, and then glue them onto the left side. I use some more knit fabric to make her leggings. The socks are made with nylon fabric. Honey Lemon has bigger feet than the other Disney Store dolls, so I guess that she might need some shoes a bit bigger than the average Barbie ones. I bought these Platform Mary Janes from Jennifer Sue dolls on Etsy, and they ended up fitting really well. Honey Lemon has this twist headband that I need to recreate. I studied some tutorial videos to figure out what I would need to do to create one. I ended up changing the final one from what's shown in the video later to look better at this scale. For the bag, I had a hard time finding good reference shots, so about half of it was a rough estimation. I used rickrack trims to do the decorations that I saw. I used craft wire to make some loops to connect the strap to the bag. I also added some lining to make a nice finish. There's one more decoration on the flap that I decided to use more rickrack for. I saw some pom-pom tassels on her bag, so I used these miniature pom-poms and connected them with some invisible thread, which I then attached to the loop. I took these Dexter Charming glasses and painted them magenta with my airbrush. After that, I sealed it with some gloss varnish, and this finally completes the doll. I'm super proud of how well she came out, and I plan on putting her up for sale on my Etsy shop after this video is done. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and spread the word. I also have an Instagram page where I post most of my doll related stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Bye!